welcome to part three and let's get right into designing the next five characters we design yes now I'm redesigning the whole team I wouldn't say specifically bad it didn't look bad the image but when I turned to Dizzle it just looked off so I went back and tried to find a way to not make it lot off I realized that most of the characters just looked the same so I decided to just to turn all the characters into one character. Well, I think this design turned out pretty cute and represents the old design. And turned all the rest of the team members, team members into redesigned and new characters. And now we'll be drawing the five characters. The first one we're drawing, of course, the first one. Let's draw this character. Well, uh, oh, actually, the, oh, actually has a letter on his shirt now. Letter C. I didn't notice that I was going to add that. Add the colors. We got blue, red, and yellow, and orange for the shirt. There you go. There's the final sketch design. Looks pretty cute. like the colors. It's like the old design, but new. <laughs> and here's the digital version. A pretty cute little design. <laughs> it turned out pretty good. And now next one. Yes, and now we're moving on to the next one, the orange bunny. I made his ear down, so move goggles since it's the worker and planner and like the one who works on computers in the team. We got the letter on its shirt, and then we got the tracing outline. So yeah, we just need to trace it, and I also made a mistake on his feet, but it's okay. We got the little orange that he has, and we got also the goggles. And then we also got green and the the orange A. There's the final design. Pretty cute, honestly. Oh, you see my hint of our next character. And here's a new little version. A pretty cute little design. The rents is green. What? I guess you bought your own rents that's green. Hmm. Okay. And now the next one. This is this bunny who likes to craft. And decorate their place. So, see, he's holding a carton and some confetti is on the floor. And I'm just gonna go and trace her out. There you go. And we're just gonna trace her. And I think that was my mistake with her feet as well. And then we're going to color pink in her colors and the little letter on her shirt. And there you go, there's her final design. Looks pretty cute. I like the pose that she's in. It's like, hmm. Where did I put this A carton in the room? Hmm. Yeah, that, that's what she's thinking of. And the tongue actually turned pink. I like the design. Very cute little design. And next one? Yes. This next one did not have its final colors, but the final design. Guess what is here? I'm just drawing it. I drew the ears down. It has a letter on a shirt. Then we're going to go and uh, do a black screen and tracing the P on its shirt. And we're going to have some feet as well and make a little bunny, a little sideways bunny. And the reason why I changed these colors is because they look a little similar, a little too similar to the, um, the first team member colors they do. So that's why I changed them. I think it was so much old ones, but they're still fine. Oh, well, not the official colors. And then we got the Axel version in a few seconds. There we go! The Axel colors. Now that's more unique color scheme. It's a pretty cute design. I like it. I like the design. Now we're going to draw. The last one, and this little last little guy is pretty cute. We got a little bum guy. His guess is over already. <laughs> he's very fl he's very fluffy, and he likes to adventure a lot. Also got the letter here as K, and we got um like some little sticks. His nature, adventure. There we go, got the outline done. A lot of pictures for this one. Very fluffy little bunny here. 
Elsa is very happy. Yay! Now we're coloring a green little bunny. And we're just also coloring more dark green. And the letter on the shirt, the, the stick, the mouth, and there you go. The final sketch design looks pretty cute. I like it. I like it. It kind of looks like a baby, but it's a kid. It's a, it's a kid in the story, not a baby. I like the design. It's a pretty cute little design. You did a great job. And here's the full team. I like the full team. They go well together. It is missing one member though. This little guy. Then, there's the whole team. Pretty good job. Well, I wouldn't say the next character redesigning is bad. It does have blending, so I guess that's the reason why. And a lot of spikes. So here's my new drawing for it. I think this design turned out really cute. It's a really cute little design. Good job. Now let's move on to the next one. So, the next design I'm doing is a new character. It was supposed to be designed for the last character, but it lo looked a, too, a little too far-fetched. So I did another design, which is the one you saw right now, and also made a new design, and this kept the character I originally made, because I really like the design of this. This character took plants and African dogs and massed them together with stars. That's what it did, so let's get to designing. So, this is the sketch I did for a sitting pose for the little character. It's a sitting pose, a very unique pose for me. So, there's the sketch for it. And now we're going to draw the design. Um, here's a version I did copying the sitting pose. So, I just did that, and that's a weird way to do the ear. A weird way. Okay, there's a better ear. That's a way better ear. And there's the sitting pose for actually the character. Well, not the full character, but a star for the character. Now we're getting right back into speed. We have little dagger lines like Sphinx, Sings, some kind of Pokemon character. We are going to go and just draw this. There we go. It does kind of mean that Pokemon character. Now we're just going to go and add green, 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 green. Green, 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 green little outline, outlining everything. And we're gonna outline, 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 outline everything. Everything. There you go. A cute little design. I like it. It's adorable. And the next one that will be the visual design is now here. This is a very cute little design. I know I, I know we don't do the mouth open, but this time I did. It's a very cute little design. I like it. So now we are going to redesign this character. Warning you guys, this redesign is not gonna look at all from the original design. I didn't really know what to do with this character because I didn't know what I could take from the character since I was just making it a cartoony horn sheep goat. So I combined with water, so that's how this design turned out. So let's get to designing. So now we'll be sketching this design, and I just am sketching and sketching this design. Yeah, yeah, I'm sketching the legs are actually looking a little more thin, so it looks like water. I'm making the tail look like a thin tail, since water, you know, uh, swims in water. So it needs a fin tail. Then the horns are already done. Wow. <laughs> and then we got the little eyes and uh, the mouth and oh, see, claw marks. And uh, we are going to trace this in a blue outline to mask the water theme. And we're also going to go and just trace and trace and trace and trace and trace. And trace, and trace, and trace, and there you go, final design. Looks pretty good, honestly, and pretty cute. Little water, uh, horn, seep thing design. I like how I put in the water. That's a cool detail. I like it. It's a nice little big horn seep 
water design. Well, this character design I did not like, so I decided to redesign it so I can like it. So now we are drawing, uh, now we're drawing the, this character. Uh, we're gonna draw his hands and his hands, actually his headphones. We're going to draw his hands, his flop hands, and then we're going to draw some shoes and some le eyes, not legs, and a mouth. And now we're going to color and color and color and color and color the whole entire picture. So we're going to color the headphones, the shoes, the hands, the body, the eyes. So this is the final sketch design. It looks pretty cute. I also have some hands and these little designs. So let's get to that. So here's the final design with their hands. It has little shoes and headphones. It looks very cute and I think it did a good job on it. So the next three recare designs were from my old art videos. The two I tried to draw side viewed because one looked fine in front view, but the other one kind of gave me the creepy vibe of the other character I talked about. So, we don't want that. The other one, the colors were put everywhere, so the it was a little complicated. So, this is my little elephant little character. I like it. It's pretty cute. It gives, like, the same vibe to their character. It's just like a little different. Yeah, this one just basically looks the same. The only thing that changed is the back legs are not another color. They're just the same color. But it definitely just looked the same. It just looked like we just saw the front view in that picture. So I'm going to say this is basically the same design. It's pretty cute, honestly. And here's the last one. This is the most changed. Well, I went for kind of a theme because it did have like jewels on it and the rest of the design and actually in the real thing so we got a diamond on the sweater and five little jewels on the top of it and a little sweater that's wearing and some different colors for it because it had many different colors and a white little pig because it was a white little pig and it looks pretty cute i like it the next recare design i like this care design like i really liked it but when I turned to Dizzle, it didn't look good. So, I had to change it. And here's the design that can look good in Dizzle. I like the design. It's cute. It looks pretty good in here. And it keeps enough similar parts to the original one. I like it. Here it's one that doesn't have a hat on. Looks pretty cute. And now this is a little toy that this character got a long time ago that actually inspired their mascot for their boat. That's a cute idea. The next sign kind of got redesigned because it was a squishy. So I had to design it to transfer it to paper and dizzle. So... I had to design it so it's not like needs to be 3D. So that's why this one changed. Here how it looks. It's pretty similar. The only thing that really changed was like maybe the shape since it's now 2D. And the eyes are not closed. But we actually never saw the eyes. It doesn't have all different colors of sprinkles. But that just made it easier to draw over and over again. I like it. It's cute. Now, I'm just going to say, if you guys watch the sort, have you ever seen the text, plant spirit, what? Yeah, that was in the video, so that was a whole thing in the video. You might not saw it because it went too quickly, but I think some of you saw it and some of you guys are questioning, like, what is a plant spirit? We'll answer your questions right now. No! Because it's actually a story hint, not a video hint. So, you'll not get the answers to that until you watch some of the character stories. So, 
yeah. I would basically say they're ghosts that come from plants. That's all I'm going to say. Nothing else. Now let's get into Ella the Plant Spirit. So here, Ella the Plant Spirit. It's actually the redesign of the monkey character I drew. It is perhaps to change. I didn't mean to change, it just changed. So that what happened. Honestly, I like the design of this. It looks pretty cute. I also know that the character did have a fourth design. Why did I put the design in? So I didn't have to put death in the story, okay? That's why. So I made it different. So is this a ghost now? This next character I really liked, but two problems. It's too complicated and it has wood a wood face. Now the other ones I changed the wood face, but it did not change that much. So it didn't make it in this video. But this one did change a lot more because it was complicated and the wood face. Why do you want to avoid the wood face? Violent avoidance. That's why. Okay. So let's get on to wait, let's just show you the design. Here's our new design. It also has a version where it wears a mushroom hat, but I like this one better. So this is the new design! And yes, she still is like taco. She still are loving taco squirrel. See, this is not holding one right now, okay? Well, this is pretty good after all. So our last free care design is Curious the Hyena. This one got redesigned because it's way too complicated. So I simpled down to the things I liked about it. So here is our new deal design. It still has little goggles, still looks like a scientist, and it has little potion legs. So I thought that was the, the cool part about it. And it's still our little cute hyena. I like the new design, it's cute. And that was all the recare designs. So make sure you like, make sure to subscribe, make sure you ring the bell. Bye, fans. I hope you enjoyed this video.